In today's video, I am going to explain you a few new usability feature of a SharePoint online list. So if you are using uh, even the modern experience, uh, you will see some differences on that. And if you do not see this exact options on your SharePoint list, then don't worry, it will come in few days. Uh, since it is available on my tenant now, so I thought I will make a video and I will explain you those things. So these are uh, features which uh, previously we used to do by using the classic experience like most of the time we navigate to other pages and do that those things are now they have changed it and i'll show you how we can use those features and if you are new to the channel then subscribe to the channel so that anytime i'll make videos like this so you'll get a notification on that and I mostly make video on SharePoint Online, Power Platform, XPFX, all these things. And also, if you want to learn SharePoint from the beginning as a developer, uh, then uh, check out our complete SharePoint development training course, which uh, the link I'll put in the video description. So now let me go to the system and then I'll show you, uh, you know, different new features which are there in your SharePoint Online list. So now let me open a SharePoint list first. So I'll go here. Uh, now you can see here this is a SharePoint uh, site and uh, uh, this request uh, an appointment is a SharePoint list for which we will see a few reusability feature. Now let me show you a previous list like this is a list which uh, is in another site and uh, it has the uh, you know the old interface you can say. So uh, let's discuss a few things on the new usability features which are there in SharePoint online list and you can see this UI and uh, you can see this UI so there is uh, definitely differences are there now uh, first thing what you can do is even in fact when you will create now a new list uh, at least for uh, this site uh, you know I'm getting all the new features on that so hopefully for this tenant I'll get uh, you know these new features and if you do not see these options now don't worry it will come in some time to your tenant as well now on this first thing what you can do here is you see here uh, the new add new item oops sorry let me go to the request for appointment list you can see here i'm going to this list on this uh, you see here the plus add new item and then here you see here new item right so uh, this difference but the difference more here if you will click on this you can see here now this uh, ui is coming on a dialog box and uh, you can see the uh, you know how it is coming in a, uh, the screen is now quite bigger you are getting and also uh, like you will see here uh, these options are there edit column so you will see the options where you can edit the column which you want uh, you know you can uncheck it if you do not want this column to appear in this form and also you can uh, you know you can move up and down, down if you want to uh, rearrange the columns even you can uh, you know drag and drop also here and uh, so this is one thing that you can do another thing you can see here now is in a SharePoint list now you look at a small icon to every column here you see here uh, this is our single line of text so there is a t icon is there is a people picker column so this icon is there same way there is a date time column this icon is there i do not see an option to change this icons as of now um, so you will not directly change anything as of now and uh, so this is another thing that uh, you know you will be able to see and see what kind of data type this column contains and then here if you click on this you can see here this is my list if i'll click on this you will see a few options on this one thing is you can uh, name uh, so you can change the name if you want you can change the color here so the icon color will change uh, now suppose i'll give uh, this color so the icon color will change you will see this and then uh, if i want i can uh, select a icon uh, for this suppose i'll select this icon and most importantly now you'll see here uh, you know you can uh, use this button to delete the list from here so if you want to delete the list you don't need to go to the settings page or anywhere you can simply click over here and the list will get deleted I click on save so you see now this icon color changes everything so next thing is on this if you'll see here in the command bar uh, you see an option here uh, the manage access so if you click on this actually you can change the permission from here now you can see here 
this user has been access uh, now this groups will have access or uh, these are the owner group they can be they can edit and also if you want to share a link you can copy it from here and uh, also if you want to add uh, people here you can click on this and then you can add you can send a message you can put a name here suppose i want to give the name here landlord i'll give this name i can put a message and uh, if you want to notify you can check this box so that they will get an email and here you can uh, what permission you want to give let's say you want to give full control i can do this and then i'll say grant access so the user will be they can access it so i know that is way so now you can see here the user is coming here since we give the full control you can see it so it is quickly you can see your permission things over here you don't need to really go to the settings and uh, go to the list settings and do it yeah, slowly of course microsoft is working on it so so that you will get the updated interface now still there is a mix of uh, you know the updated interface as well as the um, you know the classic interface but now you can see uh, you know things as in changing here and uh, another thing you can uh, see here is this command bar so now look at this command bar and let me show you in the previous command bar so if you'll see here now this command bar uh, you know was coming here with this one now here it is a little different you can see right the command bar has only manage access and then here it is uh, and here you can do filter so you can see you can uh, have filter here uh, like email id you can filter first name mobile number i'll show you how we can add to the filter pane uh, the, to the columns but then you can see here they, there is group by suppose i want to see a group by based on email id i can choose this and you can see here it's changed here right so the group by things you can do it from here right and then uh, this is the all items view where uh, uh, you know you can see all the views so if you want to uh, you know save a view edit the current view you can click over here of course again it is going now to this one uh, but these options are there i'm sure very soon that will also change but if you want to change or uh, you know add remove fields this option is there from here you can uh, do it so let's say i don't want this purpose of meeting to be here i can apply it and you can see here uh, that that is not there now right so that you can quickly do it here instead of going to the classic settings page and do it and another important thing is if you click on this add a view this is a small plus icon you see here from here you can create a view now i have uh, there is another video where i have explained about the views um, also i'm going to create some more views of uh, related things how we can create views and what is a view all these things so if you are new to the channel you can subscribe to the channel so that whenever i'll make the video you will get a notification into it so i'll put some links also where you can uh, you know you can check it and also like this 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 uh, option you can use it now uh, for view group by and filter things and before i forget i'll tell you this thing like forms experience is there i think i have uh, i created a video separate video on that how you can use it and i'll put that link in the video description I, you can have a look at it this is a very good way how we can create a form and share with your users in our organization right i'll show you one more thing here like uh, on these columns so if you'll see here now in the column uh, down you can see there is a plus icon so this will open the create a column option but there are other options are available on this so if you'll click on this you'll go to the column settings you see rename hide uh, you know format but there is move right uh, that option is there uh, if you want to move left that option will come also here if you, if there will be since this is the first column it is not coming and then widen the column so the width will increase let me show you over here in this column so if you'll see here i'll widen and you can see here the column width increased all right and same way if you'll uh, click on this and then uh, do further so further it will increase so certain pixel it will uh you know increase at one shot and same way you can narrow the column so if you'll click on narrow the column so it will uh, it will uh, come like this so you can see here right i can do this in the same way like uh, also if you want to uh, like filter this add this column to the filter so you can go and you can say add pin to filter so that it will come in the filter view the email is already there so you can see it here right 
and also for every column settings like in this you can see there is a add uh, there is a add column add a column option is there that will open also the add a column um, you know where you can create a new column on this right so that you can do and then uh, if you will right click on this you will see this options here you see here see this option if i'll click on edit you can see here this edit uh, screen is coming and you can edit it and you can put comments those things also you can do for this particular item and also if you'll click on this view so you can uh, same dialog box you can view view it in case you want to let's say send this uh, you know view link anywhere you can see here there is an option where you can copy link and the link is copied now you can go to anywhere you can email anywhere you can paste this and the user can come with this view form and then if you want to edit here also edit all option where you can edit this thing so you can see right so these are the things which you can do it here and also if you'll see on this uh, there is a details pane so if you'll click on this the detail pane will open here till uh, you know uh, again you will click on the detail that will go so which are uh, you know the few things which are uh, the new usability feature are there which you can use it i hope uh, you know this will help you in uh, in in using this sharepoint online list effectively and i hope you like this video so subscribe to the channel so that anytime i'll make a video on this anything on microsoft 365 power platform spfx all these things you will get the notification on that so thank you and have a nice day.